Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike 360 here. I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Good morning and welcome to the sunrise at Bombay Beach. What we are looking at right now is the Sultan Sea. And oh, that's where people went to sleep. Coming here last night, pulling into this town was the strangest experience ever for me because I'm rolling into a town with shipwrecks and, and burnt out, burnt out buildings and burnt out cars and it was just super weird. Um, but it turns out this is like, uh, this whole town, it used to be popping, it used to be a tourist attraction, but the the, uh, the Sultan the Sultan Sea here um, is where the, uh, like 20 different channels for farming runoff uh, ends up. And so it is a, uh, a place where like all the pesticides end up and all the garbage so it became like a really nasty ass like sea and it started to dry up and and become super um it's like super high and saline but uh yeah so it, it was uh popping but in the 80s it became not so great and um i guess it like <laughs> People just started bailing on the town and uh, it became like super abandoned and now it's, it's been turned into like an art piece which is kind of what I'm doing today. You know, I'm on my way to Slab City which was known as like the last lawless place on earth and I know of it because of a Vice documentary. Ooh, it's cold. And uh... Uh, Slab City has since been turned into like a giant art piece and that's that's what I'm seeing here is you know this is like weird art <laughs> you know, it's got you know, the last car that parked here is still missing it's got all these weird signs here and um, I was driving in last night and there's a like a drive-in movie theater and I looked at it shine my headlights on it and there's like a canvas for a projector for a movie to go on but then all around there's like rows and rows of just like burnt out cars <laughs> it's like a drive-in movie theater but it's like uh, it's like what happened here everything's dead we got other weird signs it says unexploded ordinance do not enter so incredible sunrise i'm gonna get in my car and drive around because i can actually see now I was afraid to drive my car this far last night. This is where I turned around, but it looks like there's other people. So, pretty cool stuff. All right, peace. Here's a little bit more of Bombay Beach. I'm on the edge of the Sultan Sea now. And there's structures and sculptures that are just submerged in the water. Um, this is very, very Burning Man-like. Uh, Burning Man vibes as well. All right, keep moving. Do you ever just want to go to like a, a drive-in movie theater and all the spots are taken? I hate when that happens.
mean, there's freaking roller coaster parts out here. Hello! I've made it to Slab City. All I really know about this place is that it's the last lawless place on, on Earth, or the last lawless place in the country. There was a Vice documentary on Slab City that I watched when I was a teenager and it always stuck out as being really interesting and intriguing. And now I'm finally getting the chance to, to go there myself. And it is unique. A lot of people are coming in and out. All right, well, I'm gonna check this out a little bit and uh, there's like a library and a trading post further down the road, so. All right, so I talked to my first uh, few people and I'm like, so what do you guys know about this place? Cause all I know is I watched the Vice documentary when I was, you know, growing up and that it's, the last law lawless place in the country and they're like yeah all we've heard is that it's the last lawless place in the country i'm like okay so that really stuck um but this yeah it's it's really cool and uh the people that are coming here are really really cool too um i was just talking to some climbers and they were on a climbing adventure they were in moab and then they Went to, uh, oh dang, what was that other one they just said? Oh, there was another one and then they were in Phoenix and they're stopping here in Slab City before going up to Joshua Tree and all that good stuff. Uh, you know, I've been to Joshua Tree now, so it's like, go to Ryan Mountain and hike Ryan Mountain. amazing that things like this exist and just there's so much to see in the world in the country it really helps keep my mind open because this is not like anything i've seen before and i think that's really important to uh, continuously get awareness of and exposure to things that are abnormal or out of your regular realities it just keeps you creative keeps your brain making new new ideas so here we are